Okay. So, so this is not a traffic stop, you're just doing an investigation, right? I'm conducting an investigation in reference to the safety of a juvenile. Gotcha. Which is a okay. very serious charge. Okay, so complaint. I'm not obstructing you in any way. You can go ahead and do your investigation, but I'm not asking you any questions. You are obstructing gotcha. my investigation okay. by not answering any questions. No, that's not how it works. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by a YouTube channel by the name of Double App New. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please show support and go and do so. No longer allow your rights to be violated. Now, the Cancel Tyranny app is here by We The People University. This app is for everyone. Those who want to learn their rights, protect their rights, or even those who want to go out and conduct First Amendment audits. Get the Council Tyranny app. This app has everything from major Supreme Court rulings, gun laws in all 50 states, stop and identify statues in each state, poster sevens, built in pocket guides so that your rights are never violated, case law on search and seizures. It even has a link so you may obtain attorney services. Make sure you download the app today, available on Apple and Android. Cancel Tyranny, the app. I've stated several times on my channel that when I was in the academy, we were not taught the law. We were taught defensive tactics and how to basically violate rights. So when I came out of the academy, I thought I knew the job. But the truth of the matter is, it took me going back on my own to start reading over laws and looking into this more to see that I really had no clue of what I was doing. And I want to personally take the time to thank the auditors for what they do, because if it had not been for them, I would have never got on the path that I'm on today and start truly learning what the law really is. Unfortunately, we're about to take a look at another police officer who admits on camera that his academy of training was not up to par. Not only does he admit this, but we're going to see for ourselves that this cop really does not have a clue of what the law really is. Not going to speak too much right now. We're going to jump into this video. We'll take a look at more later. Okay. Okay. That's the way that it is in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. When I went through the academy, that's the way that I was trained is that if I'm conducting an investigation, I have the right to temporarily detain Okay, you. what's your investigation? My investigation was that there was an approximate 12-year-old juvenile okay. running around this specific area gotcha. naked. That's a very serious complaint. Okay. Okay, it's not just a, hey, how are you, why are you here? This is a very serious complaint. Gotcha, who made the complaint? Um, I received that call in public service, and I do not have to tell you that. Okay, so call the, uh, the complainant and figure out, okay. you know, where this child went. Okay. Uh, we have nothing to do with that. Okay, all right. Do you have your identification on you? No, sir, I don't need to identify myself. You, you don't have to identify yourself? No. Okay. You have reasonable articulate suspicion that I've committed a crime? I do not think okay. that you have committed a You crime. have a body camera? I have my body camera on. Okay, very this good. This time, so gotcha. it's, it's recording. And do you have an incident number for this? Uh, or a dispatch, CAD number or anything like that? will have a CAD number because I just radioed Gotcha. So this is not a traffic stop. You're just doing an investigation, right? I am conducting an investigation in reference to the safety of a juvenile. Gotcha. Which is a okay. very serious charge. Okay, so complaint. I'm not obstructing you in any way. You can go ahead and do your investigation, but I'm not asking you any questions. You are obstructing gotcha. my investigation okay. by not answering any questions. No, that's not how it works. It's not how it works. No. Uh, where did you get your degree? Okay. Are you an attorney? I or are you a citizen? I don't answer any questions. Okay. All right. Well, um, like I said, I am not trying to be difficult with you. Okay. I'm simply trying to conduct an investigation. From what I understand, mm -hmm. the way that I was trained at the DLCJT Academy in Richmond was that I have the right to detain you temporarily to conduct an investigation. You can, okay. You're refusing to answer my questions, which mm -hmm. means you are hindering my investigation. That's not how it works. Okay, so are you the authority on on the rules? I See, I'm not. I'm just trying to follow them the best I was trained. Okay. Did you create the rules or? Do you suspect me of committing a crime? I suspect. Here's, since, you're, since I don't have to interrogate you, mm -hmm. and I don't have to read you your rights because we're just talking, you're not under arrest. I think that you are being very suspicious in the sense that you do not want to identify yourself. You're creating a certain amount of suspicion about yourself. Is suspicious a misdemeanor or a felony? No. 
that is not a crime. Okay. You're not committing a crime. Am I being detained right now? You are being detained. Okay. That's right. So I can conduct For what crime am I being detained? You do not have to be committing a crime to be detained. You do not have to commit a crime to be detained. This is clear evidence that this cop was not taught anything in the academy. This goes out to every cop watching this video today. You need to go back, pick up your state's law book, and learn the law. Learn how to truly be a law enforcement officer. You can't be a law enforcement officer and enforce laws that you do not know. You know, like I know, that when we were in the academy, they did not teach us this. Okay. I'm conducting an investigation. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying to you. I mean... I said you haven't committed a crime. Okay. I said, but I'm conducting an investigation. Okay, so do your so, investigation. May I have your name and your identification? No, sir. Okay. May I have the child's name? No. Those are my kids and they're minors. Okay. All right. Okay, and so you're refusing to answer my questions? Yes. Okay. So if I, if I write you a ticket for hindering my investigation... You'll be violating my civil rights and you'll be in civil litigation. Okay. For doing what? Am I being detained? You're being detained okay. because I'm conducting an investigation. I'm requesting your supervisor now. Oh, um, if he is still around, I'll be more than glad to get him for you. I tell you what, I'll try to call him on the phone to, to help. No, I, okay. I, I don't want to speak on the phone. Okay. All right. Why don't you tell dispatch to call the uh, the complainant, see if they can get a description or whatever the case well, may let's, be let's to be help you in your investigation. Clear. Sir, I'm the police. Are you a police officer? I don't answer questions. Okay. I'm a police officer. I have the authority over this investigation. Okay. I have the authority. Why are you harassing me right now? Can you please define harassment? You're, har you're harassing me right now. No, I don't meet the criteria. Just like you, you haven't committed a crime. Mm -hmm. So I'm not charging you with a crime. Okay. You're saying that I'm harassing you, but I'm not, I have not. Uh, committed the act of harassment. I'm simply conducting an investigation. I mean, like I said, I, I came to you professionally. You, you just, you, 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 mm -hmm. and you're refusing you're gonna jam to yourself up. I'm telling you. Yeah. Okay. We were all good until you got here. We were having a splendid day, brother. Okay. So don't don't, don't violate my rights. So I'm telling you. So by asking you some questions, I've... I've no, absolutely not. You can ask, but I can refuse. Unless you suspect me of committing a crime, I don't need to identify myself. Well, I'll tell you what. Since, since you're not under arrest, and, and I'm going to do everything that I can to, to treat you as fairly as possible, but if you put yourself in my shoes, and you were a police officer, and I refuse to identify yourself with a juvenile in and that, the car. that's actually good that yeah. you guys have body cameras for a small department like yours i'm actually i'm, I'm glad yeah. you guys have body well, cameras do, do you know why we have body cameras for, for well I, I don't keeps, know why but it's good for transparency that's exactly right i'm trying to be transparent with you. okay do you have a, a cad number for this or, or? i will have okay yep. see i'm not at my mobile computer because i'm conducting this investigation and just given the nature of what we have um I'm not going to step away from my vehicle. You, you've created a certain amount of suspicion and uneasiness with me trying to. So my how can I how how can I quell your suspicions? You can identify yourself. Okay. Do that you would help. do you suspect me of committing a crime, Officer okay. Weaver? Um, it's a yes or no question. I I suspect that reasonable suspicion is letting me know that. There's a juvenile in your car that I can plainly see. That's plain view. Okay. Okay. I know that I got a call about a juvenile running around naked. Okay. Did you, ob did you observe any of these children running around naked? Well, I don't know how many children you have. Can I, may uh, I see? Yeah. Why, why not? Okay. You can, you can look in. Just two in here. Is there any in the back seat? No, sir. In the very back? I, that's okay. 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 And quite frankly, if you look at their faces, you're scaring them. Okay. What am I doing to scare them? You're harassing me. Their father. Can you please define the word harass, please? I'm not causing an alarm, a disturbance, or an annoyance. I'm simply conducting an investigation. Yeah. Because I'm a, I'm a police officer. Okay. That is my job. 
So how can I be harassing you if I'm simply doing my job? Gotcha. So I'm not I'm not obstructing you from doing your job. You can do you your are investigation. By to identify yourself. I'm not identifying myself. I haven't committed a crime. This is not Nazi Germany. Do what now? It's not Nazi Germany. Oh, I, I wouldn't. I'm not. Uh, and I'm not forcing you to. I'm just simply trying to keep you with, within the, the scope of my investigation. There's no reason why you should be afraid of me either, like you said. You know. No. I said suspicious, not scared. So, I have spoke with uh, uh, Deputy Bobby Edwards with the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. I conferred with him and asked him, you know, I don't want to violate your rights. I am conducting an investigation, okay? And I, I feel like I do have reasonable suspicion that, that something could be amiss here, okay? Mm -hmm. But like, like what? But you have two juveniles in your okay. car, in I, the area we, that the complaint I've was already, I've already yeah. cl clarified yeah. that these are my children. Yes, that's and, correct. And you're scaring them. Well, you know, the only thing that I know to tell you is something I learned a long time ago. I can't provide security, which is part of being a police officer, without some form of um, I, I, what was the word? With a little, without a little bit of discomfort. That just comes with the nature of this, and I don't mean it. I really don't. I'm simply trying to conduct an investigation. Um, but from after speaking uh, with Deputy Edwards um, and gaining some some wisdom from him, okay. I'm not going to step on your rights, and I do not think at this time, okay, from what the sum of everything that I've gathered, I do not think that you've committed a crime, okay, and I don't want to overstep my bounds as an officer by trying to force you to do something or try to force you to do something that is in direct violation of your rights. I have rights, you have rights. That's the way that I police. I want to be fair, firm but fair within the law. And at this time, after speaking with Deputy Edwards, I do not feel like that I have enough evidence or uh, probable cause to make you or try to force you to identify yourself, okay? And so with that, I'm going to leave you. I don't know your name, and, and that's, that's all right. Um, I don't think that you've committed a crime, and I do apologize for inconvenience. That's what the word I was looking for. Sometimes you can't provide security without inconvenience, and that is a part of my job. So, like I said, um, have a good day, and I apologize for your inconvenience. But I am going to be leaving, um, and like I said, I don't think that at this time I have probable cause to think that you have committed a crime. So, therefore, I'm terminating my investigation. That, okay. okay? Yeah. I, I need a I need a CAD number. Can you write it down for me, please? You could. You can call Jackson County Dispatch uh, nine one one and let them know that you were. Uh, just stopped by Officer Weaver um, at the Jackson County Extension Office. Now that's an emergency line, though. Uh -huh. so, do you well, have a? I do. I have a regular landline if you'd like that. It's 606-287-9979. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, as a courtesy to you, uh, if you give me just a second, if dispatch ha has a CAD up and running at this time, um, I'll get that for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. There's a CAD number for my investigation. All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right. The link to the full video is down below in the description section. Go over to Double App News, make sure you watch the full video, and also make sure you subscribe. Now I'm going to ruffle some feathers by what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. I really think this cop was a good guy. I don't think he really meant to violate the rights of any citizen, but I do believe he was not taught properly in the academy. Therefore, the byproduct is this. He is definitely violating rights of every citizen he comes across. There has to be a change. Law enforcement officers actually have to start learning the law while in the academy, because if not, all of our rights are going to be violated. And as we all just witnessed, Cops do not know the law. Therefore, you should make sure your rights are not violated. If you have not had the opportunity to download Cancel Tyranny, make sure you go to the app market, Apple or Android, download it. It has everything that you need to make sure your rights are never violated. This is an app that no free American can afford not to have. Make sure you get it. With that being said, we the People University signing off.